YouTube, this is your boy Preach. People have been asking me for an EDC video of my everyday carry, so I figured I would drop a video. I just want to let you guys know first, we are in a safe, controlled environment. My gun is actually not loaded. Even though you see a fully magazine next to it, my gun is not loaded at the time of shooting this video. I just wanted to kind of break down and show you my everyday carry. And if you're in the market for everyday carry, kind of show you a gun that I think is perfect for someone that's using the gun for everyday carry. This is my Hellcat uh, by Springfield Armory. Uh, when I got this gun, it actually did not look like this. I did some modifications to the gun and to, to give it more of an aesthetic. So this is my everyday carry gun. It's the gun that I usually carry with me, whether I'm out and about with family, uh, just moving about in the world, around the world and society and stuff like that. But this is usually my everyday carry. Um, I do got bigger guns and heavier guns and I will probably, um, if you do guys like this video, I'll probably showcase more of those. But just for furthermore, let's go ahead and dive into this video and talk about my everyday carry. This gun right here, this is a Springfield Hellcat. It's made by Springfield Armory. Um, as you can see, I did some modifications with the color coordination with the red. Um, it also has some tape on the uh, grip, um, which I love this, this grip tape. It's actually made by uh, Goon Tape, um, which I will actually link the, link the link in the description if you guys are interested in purchasing it. Uh, my gun is kind of dirty because I like I said I do carry this gun I mean that I carry this gun I actually do train with this gun as well on a readily available basis like I'm, I'm telling you I'm trained with this weapon I constantly put rounds through this weapon uh, emergency through malfunctions and things like that so this is the gun that I'm comfortable carrying that I'm used to carrying and that's why it's it's, it's not clean okay um, now I do clean my guns I just like at this point in time when I did shoot the video I just wanted to get the video out so I didn't get a chance to clean the firearm um, just to kind of tell you like a little bit more about the gun, I do have an extended clip, um, kind of like an extended ma mag belt on my gun. Um, there you'll see it with the church logo right there, basically showing um, the extension. Um, I do have hollow tips as well. I do carry hollow tips as well when I do everyday carry. Um, and it's to each his own, um, you know, with the thing about hollow tips, do you need them? Do you want them? I mean, it's, it's to each his own. FMJs, you got to worry about FMJs actually going through your target and continue moving. Hollow tips, they're going to stop in your target and actually stop your target in its tracks. So, uh, for you, you got to be responsible for your backstop when you're shooting. Um, but it's up to you. Um, right here is the mag release. This actually releases the magazine for my gun. Um, I actually changed this out. It came default in black. And I actually changed it out to red just to give it more of aesthetic because I did add the magwell on there. I also changed out the trigger as well. I added the red uh, red drop in trigger um, just to give it more of an aesthetic look. It doesn't it doesn't fire. It doesn't change the functionality of the gun really. It just gives it more of an aesthetic look as well. Plus I put a faceplate on the back that does have um, that does say welcome to the church as well just to give another thing just a more aesthetic look as well um, but all in all the, the firearm is really good it does what it needs to do um, this is a subcompact now if you're just getting into firearms understand that subcompact firearms are going to actually have a lot more kick um, they're actually meant to just be smaller guns just so you can carry and basically if you need a you know I, I don't recommend pocket carrying you could pocket carry something like this because it's easy enough to slide into a pocket uh, if you just need to get out of the house real quick so that's one thing i do like about the springfield hellcat if you need a gun just to carry you know easy to conceal this gun is very easy to conceal and it does have like a 13 to 15 round magazine capacity so it is a it is a really good nice concealed gun it does have a little kick to it because it is a subcompact 
rather than a full handgun size. Now, my I do carry sometimes here and there. I do carry a Glock 19, which my Glock 19 does have a, a, a Glock 19. Actually, um, to me, I think it controls way better than my Springfield Hellcat, just because it doesn't. It controls more of the kick because it's obviously a bigger, a bigger gun than its full handgun size. Um, maybe I'll do a video and show you guys that as well. But this video is just a short video. Just wanted to show you guys kind of like my everyday carry. Um, if you're curious about more guns or want to see more of my gun collection, please comment below. Let me guys, let me let me know if you guys like videos like this. Um, I'll probably drop some range videos and just show you guys more of my everyday carry guns and guns that I like that I have fun with and guns for home defense and things like that. I can go over all of them. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Until next time, make sure you like and subscribe. Drop a comment below. And until next time, see you later, guys. You guys, take it easy.